Okay. There may be some people out there who may want to live for God, but they may say, how can I possibly live for God when there are so many bad things about me? And sometimes what I tell people, only if you knew me back in the past. Now, some people may be ashamed to tell others the bad things about them in the past and stuff like that. Me, hey, I don't really care because in the end, <laughs> you are either going to like me or not, whatever. If you don't like me, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> so for instance, I was a thief, a user, a liar, a manipulator, a jerk, a swindler, a fornicator, which is a person who have sex before marriage, an adulterer is a man or woman or a person who have sex with someone that is married but not married to each other. So for instance, let's say that I am single or married. It doesn't really matter. And let's say that that woman is married. If I have sex with her, I am an adulterer because I am not married to that married person. So fornication is having sex before marriage. So I am not married and that woman is not married. Adultery is when either one or two of us are married but not married to each other and we have sex. Makes sense, right? Okay. So I was a masturbator, a cheater, and an angry and depressed person. So overall, I was a bad person. Maybe not as bad as others, but hey, a bad person. So you may say that, how can I change or how can you change when there are so many bad things about you Look at how many bad things <laughs> that was about me or what the way that I used to be and I changed. So if I can change, yes, it took me very a very long time to change, a very long time, but I have changed. If I can change, you can change as well. Like I said, only if you knew me. I was a really cold person. Very, very cold. To the point where, like, I only cared. Ah, there were some people I cared about a tiny bit, but mainly everything was about me. Like, what satisfied me. Makes sense, right? And you may be that way now. And you may think like, hey, if I don't change, I am going to hell. Look, if I did it, you can do it as well. All you have to do, and let me say this too. I failed many, 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 many times. I failed many times in trying to live for God. It took me years, a very long time. But I am not going to say that I never stopped trying because <laughs> there were some periods of time where I gave up but when I would give up after a certain period of time I would come back to it and try to live for God so what I am trying to say never give up God may not have as much grace that he has for me on you if that makes any sense. So let's say that on the scale 1 through 10, God have a level 8 of grace on me. You may not have that level 8 of grace on you. You may have like a level 4 
or a level six. Makes sense, right? So I may have been able to do more bad things than you. What I am trying to say, <laughs> I don't want to confuse anyone. Serve God while you can. Keep trying hard, no matter what. Because to be honest, I never thought that I would be able to change. Never thought, never thought it. I thought that I would always be the way that I was because man, I was really bad. Now you may think like, hey, you know, you said that you was a thief or user, a liar, a manipulator, blah, blah, blah. You know, it could have not been that bad only if you knew <laughs> only if you knew only if you knew and sometimes every so often i believe god brings it to my mind that the way that i used to be not to make me sad or bring me down but to show me how far i came and it really shocks me how bad I used to be, like thoughts that I have not thought of in years would come to my mind and my eyes would get like this big, like, what? <laughs> like, what is going on? Like, how could I be that way? I'm serious. So, <laughs> crazy, man. I really hope this makes sense or I pray that it makes sense. If I can do it, you can do it as well. And I can say that I was as bad as that because of past pain or, you know, people was mean to me or, you know, my mom and dad or brother, sister and so on and so on. But when it comes down to it, you have a choice. You have a choice to do what is right, or you have the choice to do what is wrong. Makes sense, right? You don't, you don't have to do evil when someone does evil to you. Even if your mom or dad treated you a certain way, it does not mean that you have to carry around this anger and frustration and place it on other people just because you got dumped by your girlfriend or boyfriend wife or husband does not mean that you have to place all of your hatred on women or men so you are going to reap what you sow when you do evil evil is going to come back to you and what made me change <laughs> so many bad things was happening to me. Now, at first, I didn't really catch on, but I started to see, hey, when I start to do bad things, more bad things happens to me. And I was thinking maybe, you know, it is just my imagination, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> so what made me want to change it's all of the curses, all of the bad things that was happening to me. It was too much. It was too much to handle. And you may be going through this right now, and you may not know the reason why bad things are happening to you. Let me tell you, bad things are happening to you because you are sinning. Like, for instance, I used to get so sick in the past where or when I used to sin so much. Like I was constantly, maybe not constantly, but I used to go to the hospital so much because I would get so sick and I never knew why. And I was really active back then too, really active, sports and so on and so on. So really take heed to this, God bless.